Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next problem on the JE Advanced 2021 test. And this was shift two or paper two as they call it. And the number we're dealing with is 15 and it's about thermodynamics. It's a long problem to read and of course you're time constrained but you need to read it carefully. It says a thermally insulating cylinder has a thermally insulating and frictionless movable partition in the middle. On each side of the partition, there is a one mole of an ideal gas with specific heat at constant volume, C sub V equal to 2R, where R is the gas constant. Initially, each side vol is volume V0 and temperature T0. The left side has an electric heater transferring heat, Q, slowly to the left side. As a result, the partition moves slowly to the right, reducing the volume of the right to V over 2, in other words, to have its original volume. Consequently, the gas temperature on the left side and on the right side become TL and TR. And here we're supposed to find the ratio of TR to T0. And of course, that's on the right side, so what we're trying to do here is find the ratio of the final temperature to the initial temperature on the right side. Four possible answers, only one of those is correct. So what we're dealing with here, since it's well insulated, there is no heat traveling into partition on the right. There is on the left, but none on the right. So if Q equals zero for the right side, we're dealing with an adiabatic process. And with an adiabatic process, you need to know these two equations. You need to know that P1, V1 to the gamma, equals P2 V2 to the gamma and you should also know that uh, T1 V1 to the gamma minus 1 equals T2 V2 to the gamma minus 1. Now you may say well what's gamma again? Remember that gamma is equal to the ratio of C sub P over C sub V and C sub P is equal to C sub V plus R over C sub V, which is simply C sub V. Now they gave us C sub V, it was equal to, where is it, All right, 2R. So the numerator becomes 2R plus R, or 3R. So gamma here is equal to 3R, divided by the denominator, which is 2R, which is equal to 3 over 2. So that means that the exponent here becomes 1.5, and the exponents here become 0.5. All right. Now, since we're looking for the ratio of the temperatures, we probably want to use this equation right here. Remember that we do know the initial volume and the final volume, V final, is equal to V initial divided by 2. So since we know the initial and the final volume, we can do a relationship between the initial and final temperature. So let's write it like this. We can say that T initial, V initial to the gamma minus 1, equals T final, V final to the gamma minus 1. And then plugging in what we know, we can say that T initial times V initial to the 0 0.5 power is equal to T final times V final, which is V initial divided by 2, to the 0 0.5 power. And of course, 0 0.5 power is the square root. So we want to write T final divided by T initial by bringing T initial down here and bringing this down here so we get equal to V sub naught to 0 0.5 power divided by V sub naught divided by 2 to the 0 0.5 power. Now you can see that the V sub naughts will cancel out and 1 over 2 in the denominator goes to the numerator so this becomes 2 to the 0 0.5 power which is equal to the square root of 2. And so, of course, this is equal to TR, because that's the final temperature on the right side, divided by T initial, which was the, final, the initial temperature of both sides. And notice that that will equal to the square root of 2, and that means that answer A is the correct answer in this case. So, a very doable problem, if you remember this equation right here, this relationship right here, and then realizing how to apply it. And that is how it's done.